Did you show any active use of any automation tools? I wonder if you use any apps or Windows software, for example, that cross posts to Facebook, Instagram, those are the big ones, maybe Snapchat too, and drawing a blank Twitter. All right, here comes a question from our studio audience today. Peter has a question. He was uh, checking out, I was, I was showing, here, let me show you. I was showing this brand new brochure that was made for me by Garrison. We were working on this earlier this week for a class that I taught on social media strategies. And Peter was, was looking at this brochure in another one of my posts and said this question. He said, Hey there, CJ. Neat looking handout you've created. Was you, was your exercise and were your teachings mostly on paper and watching a PowerPoint or did you show active use of any automation tools? Let me answer that question first. And the answer is yes, it was on paper. There was no PowerPoint. We used this brochure and uh, there was exercises inside of it. We used good old fashioned pen on paper to walk through this. That way, that way we're not at the mercy of any audio visual equipment during the workshops. I often find that's just a distraction. It just gets in the way of the learning. So we've got a great handout. You didn't need anything more than a pen or a pencil to take advantage of this teaching. So that's what we did. It was all pen and paper. And uh, they said they got a lot out of it. It was packed with information. And I was really grateful to hear about that. Garrison will tell you more about how much they love that brochure. Uh, Peter goes on to say, did you show any active use of any automation tools? I wonder if you use any apps or Windows software, for example, that cross posts to Facebook, Instagram, those are the big ones, maybe Snapchat too, and drawing a blank Twitter. So I thought, yes, I would show that to you in today's show. I know this is something that we touched on previously, and just off the top of my head, it was at right, like right around episode 12, I want to say, but it's been long enough, and because we've got Peter's specific question, I thought we'd take this as an opportunity to jump into the internet and check out a tool that you can use to help you with your social media posting. So let's go ahead and take a field trip right now. What are we going to do? We're going to pull up the browser. So we've got the Ask a Web Geek website right over here. Now I need to find it so I can see it. Here it is, askawebgeek.com. Uh, make sure to come to our Ask a Web Geek website and click this green button right here to join our Facebook group. That's where we take your questions. That's where we tape the show live together as a community. And make sure to subscribe on YouTube. We'd love for you to subscribe on YouTube. We're still working to get our first 100 subscribers. We're really close. We're really close. You could help us reach that goal. Okay, I want to show you a cool tool today. This is the tool that I use to post to social media. It's called Buffer. Buffer.com. That's spelled B-U-F-F-E-R.com. Buffer.com. The first thing to let you know is that there is a um, there is a free version of the software that you can use, and the thing that it limits is how many accounts you can you can link to it, how many social media accounts it can link to. So, for example, you can see right here I've got a lot linked in. I've got I've got three Twitter profiles, I've got uh, two Facebook pages, a Facebook group. Uh, LinkedIn and my Instagram. You don't have to do that. You don't have to make it as complicated as I use it. Just start with what you have. Maybe a Facebook page, maybe an Instagram, maybe a Twitter if you had it. Peter mentioned Twitter, but he couldn't remember it, so I don't know if he uses it a lot, but I do. And this is the tool that I use. Now, this is a great tool for a couple reasons. Number one, it's a single place that you can go, create your post, and then allow it to post for you on all the social media platforms. So that way you're not going from platform to platform to platform to create those posts. One place, post them everywhere. So that's a big help, that's a savings. That alone would be a good tool. But it's got another layer on top of it. It'll, it allows you to schedule those posts into the future. This is so powerful. One place you can go, one tool to use, it's gonna, it's going to allow you to put those posts out to the social media networks that you want to, and it allows you to schedule them in the future. So this is really powerful. This means you could sit down on a Saturday and you could plan out your social media for the following week 
or two weeks or three weeks or the, even the whole month if you wanted to do that. Now, I don't schedule the whole month out. I know people who do and they love this tool and this is exactly how they use it. They sit down once, they plan out their social media for a month or six weeks and then they can forget about it. Now, I like to be a little more hands-on than that with my social media because it's kind of part of what I do, right? But I still use this tool to do it and as you can see, I've got some posts that are ready to pop, ready to come out here in the next couple days because I did schedule these this last weekend when I was creating the last podcast, I created some posts that would share it over the next week. So as you can see, this one right here is going to go out um, advertising my uh, my seven part free video workshop that's going to release today at 11 11. And then I've got another one, the one about my scan tools. That one's going to share today at 1 11. So you can see those are those are uh, pre programmed, ready to go out. And they're going to be shared on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and my Facebook pages. So you can see we've got scheduled posts ready to go out. So that's an advantage. So that's the tool that I use, Buffer.com. This is the thing. <laughs> Betty says, I use this all the time, and you just reminded me my buffer for this week is empty. Yikes. <laughs> that's awesome, Betty. Good. So jump on that. Betty's going to move at the speed of instruction here. She's going to jump right on that and make sure that she puts some posts into her buffer for this week. So what was I talking about? I was talking about buffer. So you can use it to, number one, schedule your posts in advance. Really great. And number two, use multiple channels from one dashboard by the way there is also a phone app for buffer i use both i use the computer version i use the phone version uh which do i use more i probably use the phone version more because i will still use the phone app to post pictures or post to multiple networks at one time now i do personally do it a little more complicated Again, because of the hands-on approach that I use and the way that I like to really control certain aspects, but you don't have to do it as complicated as I do. If you only have a couple social media channels, use what you have. If if you're learning the tool, use the tool as, as much as is comfortable for you. I'm comfortable using it in a more complicated way, and um, so I do. Okay, so I'm going to create a post for you right now, and you can kind of watch and see how it happens. So we're going to create a post advertising our, uh, our new guest geek on the show, Janae. Isn't that exciting? So the first thing I want to do is add an image. So I've got an image ready to go right over here for our guest geek, Janae. So we're going to pull that up. Bup, 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 bup. And then I'm going to grab the website for Ask a Web Geek, and I'm going to say, we are so excited to have our very first official guest geek on our show today. We welcome... Janae Spry, I hope I'm spelling that correctly. We welcome Janae Spry and her, we welcome Janae Spry I'm gonna say, welcome Janae Spry to the show. Don't miss her amazing productivity system to help you set goals and accomplish them and move forward in your business. We're so excited to have our very first official guest geek on our show today. Welcome. Janine Spry, Janae Spry to the show. Don't miss her amazing productivity system to help you set goals and move forward in your business. I think that sounds great. And we're going to go ahead and put in the website. By the way, I don't know if you just noticed when I pasted in the website, it automatically 
changed it into a Buffly link. Now you can undo that if you want it to show the actual website address. The reason that it does it like this is to create a tracking link so that Buffer can then give you the stats later on how many people clicked your link, how effective that was, that kind of a thing. So that's the reason they use their own shortcut link. It saves you some characters. It allows them to track the results for you and show those to you. But you can turn that off any time that you want to actually show whatever link you pasted in there. So all you have to do is hover over the link that you just added, and you'll see there's a button that pops up that says unshorten. I'm going to leave it shortened. I don't have a I don't have a problem with it using my um, with it using that shortened link. I'm going to go ahead and put in my hashtags. Now you'll notice that this is currently only only going to Instagram. So let's review. I've got an image in there. I've written out my post. I've got a link in there, and now I've got my hashtags in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and select. I want it to go on the Ask a Web Geek Twitter. I want it to go to my Instagram. I want it to go to one of my pages. Which one should we do? Let's put it on the CJ Gilbert page. Now, once we've gotten this far, you can customize it for each network. So I'm going to jump over here. I'm going to check them all, but the one I know we're going to need to do is the Twitter post because we're limited in characters. We can only use 280 characters in a Twitter post. So I'm going to go right into here and I'm going to remove some of the text from my post. We are so excited. So I'm going to just, I'm going to abbreviate this a lot because it's Twitter. So excited to have our first guest geek uh, our first guest geek. Welcome, Janine, Janine, Janine Spry. Um, and then we're going to say use her amazing productivity system. I'm going to leave that in there. Productivity system to help you set goals, to help you. I'm going to put move forward in your business. Okay, now that right there is almost enough characters. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the customer service hashtag, and that's done it. Perfect. So excited to have our very first guest geek. You know what we're going to do? Can we tag her right into this? We sure can. We sure can do that. Thanks, Twitter. Okay, done, done. That looks good. So that's our Twitter post. Let's check out our Facebook post. Facebook post looks good, but I'm going to go ahead and remove some hashtags. Facebook doesn't love hashtags. It uses them. I think people tolerate it more than anything. So best practice is to only use a few hashtags in your Facebook post, not a ton. Um, you can use a couple. So I'm going to use a couple. Um, In fact, I'm going to take out the sales hashtag. I'm going to pull out the work from home dad hashtag too. Okay, and then let's check our Instagram post. The Instagram post is awesome. I'll have more details for that in a second. And the, uh, in the uh, LinkedIn post looks great. Okay, so check it out. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to post this right now. Share now. Now, a couple things happen. So that's going to immediately be shared to the whole world. And the next thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get a notification on my phone to manually share this to Instagram. So let's check that out together. And there it is. Your post is ready to be shared now. So I'm going to go ahead and click post. And it's going to pull up the buffer app right here on my phone. And there's the picture and there's the text. So I'm going to go ahead and click feed. It automatically copies the text for me. It automatically downloads the image for me, and it automatically adds the image to my post. So then I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to click Next. They make it real easy. And then right up here, I'm just going to hold my finger, and then I'm going to click Paste. See that? We're almost done. I'm going to go ahead and tag a couple people. I'm going to tag Janae into this post, if I can spell correctly. Up, 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 up. We're going to tag her in there. We're going to tag her business, Crush 
conversions and we're going to tag me in here too. Even though I'm not on here, I'll be the geek. There we go. I'm going to tag the belt buckle because I'm silly and that's what I do. Okay, we're going to add a location. Our location right now is Gilbert Studios website design. Now, here's a cool trick. Uh, Tumblr is not one of the accounts that you can add to your Buffer account, but it is one of the ones that you can add to your Instagram account. So while I'm posting it to, to Instagram, I'm also going ahead and tell it to go ahead and share that over to Tumblr. Here's another tip for you. Links in Instagram posts are not live. So I add a little note that says link in profile to let them know that they can use the link in my profile to get to the link that's in this post. And I covered this in a previous video. I think it was episode three. That's my guess. Episode three, I showed you how to use Linktree to create that link about this and this whole reason. So check that out if that's helpful to you. Okay, let me just review. We've got the uh, text, we've got the photo, I've, I've tagged the people in it, uh, I've got the location, that's the business, I've got Tumblr. Now I shared it on Buffer to my CJ Gilbert page. If I wanted to, I could click here and also share it to my Gilbert Studios page from Instagram. I'm not gonna do that right now because later I'm gonna go into Facebook and manually share it. Like I, like I told you, I make it a little more complicated for myself. You don't have to do that. Okay, so after all that, we're going to go ahead and hit share and away it goes. So in those few minutes that you watched, I used the buffer software to create a post, added a picture, added a link, added some hashtags, picked which ones I wanted it to go to, and I hit share. It went ahead and pushed it to my phone so I could also cross share it to Instagram. And now it is live just like that. Oh, I hope there's, there's going to be a little bit of a glare. And now it's live just like that on Instagram that easy. Okay, so Peter, I hope that answers your question. This is the software I use, Buffer.com, and it works really well for that purpose, so I'm very pleased. Thanks for your question so much. Let's go ahead and re resume our slideshow. That was our field trip where we took a look at Buffer. What questions do you have? We're here to answer any of your questions, help you move forward in your business uh, with your website, with your online tools, with your offline tools. Please let us know how we can support you. Okay, take two, take three, take some, <laughs> take some number of, of, uh, of takes later, and we're going to get this going. Okay, here we go. Sharing a group. Ask a web geek. We're connected. I think we're ready to get started. Let's do this. I'm only an hour late. No big deal. Whatever. Okay, super bright in my eyes right now, but um, I think it's a good experience for you, and that's all that matters. So let's put on the safari hat, which doesn't shade my eyes in any way, but then you couldn't see me great because it'd be like, welcome. Welcome to Ask a Web Geek. See, there, there the hat is functional, but, you know, not great TV, right? That's really nice. It's totally shading my eyes. I could take you through the jungle just like this. Thanks for being with us this morning. And sorry to those of you who joined us earlier and then never made it back to this version of it. <laughs> we made a show anyway, somewhere in the middle there. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. What do we say? The Internet's a jungle. Roar! Is it even really scary? Is it even really a predator? Or is it just in your imagination? Is it really true? You decide. See you next week.